afternoon everybody and welcome to uh, Chuchin on a Monday afternoon Murphy girl here back on our own home court now there ain't no beach around me <laughs> all right I'm in the friggin wiggy weed jungle of the uh, urban shithole <laughs> just kidding you know got pissed off I was reading my uh, mail and uh, girl writes me uh, 25 years old young beautiful trans she's like Rosie is it true that uh, fat trannies have more fun <laughs> honey I have more fun in a month than you'll have in a uh, you'll have in a lifetime and you guys know that so I wrote her back I said that you know people like to people like to tweak your nips and all that kind of stuff uh, boy you can really tell it's uh, fall now everything is dry and crisp here and the weeds have gone uh, weeds have gone right it's supposed to be uh, wind coming in which should make things kind of uh, kind of interesting for uh, fire danger and all that stuff but, you know I read so I you know when I was away in San Diego at lunchtime today I came back first day back at work and I had a chance to uh, catch up and people always tell me uh, they'll write me and say Rosie you got to read this you got to see that you got to watch this video and it's like uh, more videos from dumb and dumber not so much dumb but <clears throat> dumber and I'm always I'm always amazed when girls start their journey and they uh, for lack of a better way of putting it they fuck everything up in the beginning by not doing stuff the right way by not getting counseling by uh, ditching their families and they have that burst of euphoria that happens the first month when they're on the road and I'm free <laughs> I'm free you know <laughs> and it's so predictable it's like watching a uh, it's like watching a mountain climber and you know they're just gonna hit that one point where you know <laughs> they're gonna slip on that uh, slip on that crevice and they're going down the side and they're gonna hit hard and uh, it's almost inevitable after the first couple months of freedom wear off and you suddenly realize at your job that uh, you're not really welcome anymore at your job no matter what your talents are and uh you know you just think that life is going to roll on like that and you can you can be happy you can make a be making a good living and just keep chooching along and getting your nails done and buying pretty hats at target and stuff but it's just ridiculous assumption to uh to make because no matter how well you think you cut the ties behind you there's always that hooks in you that uh, keep you going and then you get to the two or three month mark of being on your own and you find yourself short of money and you're slubbing in with some guy that uh, you hardly even know and sharing his bed and stuff just to get by and then before you know it you start making videos to talk about how tough it is how tough it is to be transgendered I never imagined that it would be this uh, this hard and all this blah 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 because you didn't lay the proper groundwork on it. That's what I call cowboying through uh, transition or aka flying by the seat of your pants and it's not something I'm particularly uh, into you know I paid my dues and stuff and you know I get girls what should I do with this I say well you better uh, you better make it square with your family for oh fuck I can't do that never mind thanks Rosie bye and then three months later could I move with you on the Jen on the uh, rancho there you think you got room to uh, put me up I'm just down to my last buck and blah 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 you know and sadly it's not the kind of thing that uh, I can do think before you do okay that's the point of it and every week goes by and I see dumbers videos and stuff I become more impressed by how dumb that she uh, she really is, and not so much dumb of uh, intellect-wise, but just street-wise to imagine that you could transition and not have any uh, not have any fallout from doing things everything the uh, wrong way. And then, of course, all it is now is a big whining festival and all that kind of stuff. Do stuff the right way. Thanks for letting me vent my two cents worth today. Hey, I just respond to the mail I get when people say, check this out, check that out. I do. Thanks so much for watching today, guys.